Hey, we have here today a kind of an unusual looking integral. This was from the MIT Integration B 2023, regular season, problem number two. We have the integral from zero to one of x plus one over x plus two over x plus three divided by x plus four dx. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do here is just kind of deal with this fraction because I don't like having it in this form. It's just kind of like an uncomfortable form. So what I'm gonna do is rewrite this. And what I'm gonna do is we'll have our We'll take our numerator here, our x plus one over x plus two. And then instead of dividing this, what I'm gonna do is just gonna multiply the reciprocal. So what I can do is write this all in one fraction, but we'll bring x plus four to the numerator and we'll have our x plus three here. And at this point, I think we're kind of more comfortable as we're just like integrating this normal rational expression. It's nothing too hard. So what I wanna notice about this thing though is if we were to multiply it out in the numerator here, we have x squared plus 5x plus 4, and in the denominator, if we multiply that out, we'd have x squared plus 5x plus 6. Well, these are really similar. What I can do is let's just take this 4 and write it as 6 minus 2. What that's going to let me do is I can rewrite the integral, and like here, we just have 1. Very easy. So like the first integral is just going to be 1, and then the second integral, we're just going to have 2 in the numerator, so that's not going to be too bad either. So let's just rewrite this and see what we have. So again, integrating from 0 to 1, this first term is going to be just a 1. And then I'm going to take this minus sign out front here, and let's leave the 2 in the numerator just because. And then for this denominator, I'm actually going to put it back into this form. I don't really, I don't really care for it in this form. It's going to be more helpful for us in this form. So I'm going to write it x squared plus 2 times x squared plus 3. And then of course we can just integrate this. Integral of 1 is going to be x, but we're integrating from 1 to 0. And so I might as well just evaluate this. When we plug 1 in here, we're just going to have a 1 and the 0 is going to be 0. So this whole part of the integral is just going to be a 1. So we'll come back. Now in this piece, what I'm going to do is partial fractions. So I'm going to break this up into two parts here. We'll have some variable a over x plus 2 dx. And then for my second one, Okay, we'll have a b here, and then we'll have our x plus 3. And what I'm going to do for this is just the cover-up method. So for that, so for the cover-up method, what I want to do is I want to figure out, okay, what do I need to plug in here for this to be 0? Well, I need to plug a minus 2 in there. So we're going to use minus 2, but we don't want to actually plug it in, because if we did that, we're dividing by 0. So we cover it up. We'll plug the minus 2 into this term. And so this is going to be 3 minus 2 is 1 over 2. And so our a value is going to be just 2. Doing the same thing for the second term, we're going to want a minus 3 here that we'll plug in over here. We'll cover up the x plus 3 term. We plug this in, we get minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 all over 2. So our b value is going to be minus 2. And then I can just integrate this really quick because this is going to be easy. So this is going to be, we're going to have minus 2 natural log of x plus 2 here. Sorry, I forgot to bring down my bounds. So let's just write those in. And then for the second integral, we have minus times minus a plus. So we're going to have just a plus 2 in front and then we're going to have natural log of x plus 3. Just noticing that I dropped my absolute value because for these bounds it's always going to be positive so I'm just going to write parentheses, so I'm just going to write parentheses on these and we need to evaluate this from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1. So then to finish it off we just need to evaluate so let's see we just bring down this 1 of minus 2 then here plugging in a 1 is going to give me a natural log of 3 plugging in a 0 is going to give me a natural log of 2 here then we'll bring down this 2 and then again evaluating here so we're going to have natural log of one plus three, four, minus natural log, plugging a zero in, we're gonna have natural log of three. Okay, so now we just need a little more simplification. So for this one, because we have a minus sign here, I'm gonna write this as a division. So we'll write this as natural log of three over two here. And then here, same thing, I'm gonna write this as natural log of four over three. But then I can just bring this into the exponent here. So for this one, if I, if I bring this into the exponent here, that's going to square both terms, so we're going to have this as natural log of 16 over 9. And then here I'm going to bring, let's bring a minus 2 into the exponent. So what that's going to do is it's going to square, but it's also going to flip it. So this is going to become, when we square it and take the reciprocal, this is going to become natural log of 4 over 9. But one last step with the log properties, we'll bring our 1 over here. But then as we're adding these two, we can multiply together, so we'll have natural log We'll multiply 4 over 9 times 16 over 9. And so our final solution is just going to be 1 plus natural log of 64 over 81. So that's it. Not really a hard problem. They just tried to confuse us with this big fraction. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great day.